welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve just some quick, easy, running out the door curls. I know having long, thick hair, it can be a little daunting and you feel like it's gonna be time consuming, but I promise you this technique is so easy and fast. You will have no excuse not to do your hair. And especially with summer coming up, and hopefully with some of this quarantine getting lifted, we're going to be able to leave the house a little bit more, so why not have pretty hair? So a couple of things you're gonna need before we get started is a wet brush. I absolutely love these brushes. They get through those tangles beautifully without hurting you. I know people who have long, fine hair, sometimes it's hard to get, find a brush that doesn't rip all your hair out or hurt when it when you're you know, when you're after you get out of the shower and it's wet, you know, I understand. So a wet brush is going to save you. The other products we're going to be using today are the Amica Glass Action Oil. I am obsessed, obsessed with this stuff. It is amazing. So what I like to do with it is I jump out of the shower, I kind of rough blow dry my hair and then I throw some of it in, two, sometimes three pumps if I'm feeling like I need extra, and just run it through your hair. And it almost, it feels like it's gonna be oily, but I promise you this is the most non-greasy oil out there. It is amazing. It gives your hair so much shine. It just feels good. I haven't had a haircut in so long and my hair feels pretty good. Um, and I'm convinced it's because of this product. So another product we're going to be using today is the Amica Touchable Hairspray. So I love this stuff. It You can spray it and spray it and spray it and I promise you, it doesn't feel like there's product in your hair. It feels very still like hair. You can run your hands through it, but it's gonna hold those curls. So the last product you're going to need today is of course a curling iron. So the one I'm going to be using today is a Hot Tools Pro one and a quarter inch. I have really long hair. I just want to get some body in it. Honestly, any curling iron will work and you can do this technique with any of them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and section this section of my hair and just pie it down. And it's a pretty large section. Like I said, I want this to be fast. We don't you know, this is running out the door just to get some body in our hair. Take your curling iron and you wanna keep the clamp towards the mirror. When you put that curling iron in there, in your section, you, <laughs> you when you put your hair in your curling iron, you wanna keep it towards the mirror. and go ahead and wrap it around. I like to leave about mm, two and a half ish, two inches out and go ahead and heat that up. And if you're new to curling your hair and it's something that's not comfortable for you, keep your temperature low. Make sure you have a curling iron that you could change the temperature. And if you keep it on a low setting, the thing I love about these hot tools ones is they have a great range of heat. So if you're not comfortable yet with cranking up the heat and moving fast, put it on a low heat so it heats up slowly. So then you can have a little bit more time to learn how to curl your hair and wrap it around the curling iron because that obviously is the trickiest part. But I promise you with a little practice, you can do this. So as I can feel that this is warming up, I'll kind of start clamping and clicking my curling iron open, what that's gonna do is feed in my ends. And I'll just go ahead and unravel it. And I just pop it up on my shoulder. And you could do the same technique with any length of hair. I mean, this is, I just have ridiculously long hair, but if you have shorter hair, you can totally do this too. So then I'll just come through and section through back here get this kind of underneath spot. And go ahead and pick that up. Okay. 
And then of course too, the larger sections you take, they're going to take a little bit longer to heat up. So keep that in mind. If you wanna take smaller sections and you're feeling like that's what's more comfortable, just remember that it's gonna heat up a lot faster. So just kind of be prepared and be paying attention. I don't want any hair accidents happening. I want you guys to all have your hair by the end of this. So now that we're at the bang section, I'm going to show you how I curl it and I'm also going to show you at the end how I blow it out to get that big swoopy bang. I've had a few people ask me and today's the day. I'm gonna show you how. <laughs> so I, when I curl it, I take my curling iron and still again, everything's facing towards the mirror and I come about halfway in and I just give it the quickest amount of heat just to get some shape in there especially if i'm gonna blow it out i really just i don't want a ton of heat on it because i'm gonna come in and put more heat but as you can see i've kind of already got the shape in there a little bit so that when i come and get lift up through here it's gonna make everything kind of fall nicer okay so that's already one side so fast so let's go ahead and do this side Okay, so now that we're at this phase where everything is cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hairspray. All right, so now that we have that in there, let's go ahead and brush this out. So what I like to do is come in and just give these curls a brush. Okay, so to take these regular curls and kind of amp everything up a notch, we're gonna go ahead and blow out my bang. So all you're gonna need for that is a round brush. Today I'm using a 390 Techniques brush and my Con Air Titanium Tools blow dryer. So to go ahead and get started, I'm just going to section out my bang. And I'm going to explain how I'm going to do this because when I start up the blow dryer, I'm going to take the sound out. So I don't, so that, that's so annoying. I'm not going to blow dryer sounds. Okay. So I'll take those out. You can see what I'm doing, but I'll explain it beforehand. So, and I'll show you a couple of cheater ways to do this. So I like to take this little section here. And so this is the section we'll be working with. And so if you're new at this and not quite coordinated with the blow dryer and the brush and the hair, which I know can be a little intimidating, go ahead and grab your hair, take your brush and just wrap it. And you can just heat up your hair. It's not on, but you get what I mean. You could just heat it up from here and get the same effects. But if you are a little more coordinated or you wanna practice doing it, the way I normally do it, I'll show you how to do it this way, which is a little more 
tricky, but totally doable with a little bit of practice. Okay, so it really takes things up a notch in my opinion. I think you, this is like a necessity for me. I have to blow out my bang. I think it makes everything look so much better and just more put together and a little bit softer and you can't see where the curling iron was. It just looks, it looks better in my opinion. So that is how you blow out your bang. It does just take a little bit of practice, but I promise you guys, you can do this. So this is the final look. Please give it a like and subscribe and comment below. It really does let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. Share it with your friends, practice. I know you guys can do this. All right, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next one.